Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this simply supported beam when there is an inclined load acting on this beam. So we can see here that there is a 5 kN inclined load at an angle of 60 degree acting on this beam at a distance of 3 meter from the left end and here 4 meter from the right end. Here there are two supports, one is A which is a rotor support which, support which can only take the vertical load so I can represent this reaction RA while this hinge support can take both the vertical load RBY and also it can take the horizontal load RBX so here are the two components of this support reaction RBX and RBY so as we know that when there is an inclined load acting on the beam for example, this is if is an inclined load. So here we have two components always from the physics. One is horizontal and one is vertical. The vertical is always if y which is equal to the if sine of theta. For example, this is theta. This is vertical component and the horizontal component is if cos of theta. So this is the horizontal component which will be if x. So inclined load is always two components, vertical and horizontal. Similarly, this is a inclined load. So here it will have two components. One is the vertical component here, which will be 5 sine of 60 degree. And the other will be horizontal component of this load, which will be equal to the 5 cos of 60 degree. So these are will be the two components of this load. So now first to divide this inclined load into its component now it will be easy to find out the unknown reaction for example now similarly now we can do the equilibrium equation let's suppose taking the summation of moment at point a it equal to zero at this point taking the summation of moment equal to zero so starting from this end from the b so the vertical reaction b is going along this beam so there is no moment arm for this load because moment is always force into moment arm this is moment arm and here moment arm is the perpendicular distance of the load uh, till to the point where it is acting so here the perpendicular distance of this load is zero because it is moving along the length of the beam so there is r is equal to zero for this rbx that's why we don't have movement from this load from this reaction so only the movement can be created by this reaction RBY which is acting here along the about point A in the anti-clockwise direction and we assume that the clockwise moment is taken as positive let's suppose and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative so the RBY create the moment about point A in an anti-clockwise direction so it will be negative so minus RB y multiply by the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm so force is r b y multiply the moment arm which is a perpendicular distance from this point up to a point which is 3 plus 4 which is 7 meter now the other load that creates a moment about point a is only this 5, 7, 5 sin 60 because it is perpendicular and it creates a moment in the clockwise direction about point a so by clockwise it means plus 5 sine of 60 degree into the moment arm. The moment arm is this perpendicular distance which is here from here which is 3 meter. So 3. So also this 5 cos 60 is moving again along the length of the beam along the axis of the beam. So the moment arm is 0 for this load that's why we don't have any moment. So the summation of all the moment at the point A about point A equal to 0. Now we just simply shift this wheel into the right side so we will get RBY 7 RBY is equal to 5 sine of 60 into 3. So if we divide this value RBY equal to if we multiply this value we got 12.99 dividing by 7 so we got RBY equal to the 1.85 kilonewton so we find out this support reaction equal to the 1.85 kilonewton now the 
vertical reaction unknown is the Ra. So here we can use this equation summation of vertical force is equal to zero. So the upward forces let's suppose are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So which, which are the upward forces? Ra and Rby. Ra and Rby are the upward forces and negative force is this one minus 5 sine of 60 degree. So all the vertical force is equal to zero. Now we can put the values of our By which is 1.85 and shifting this value to the right side so we got here 5 sine of 60 minus RBY. So our A comes out to be 5 sine of 60 means it is 4.33 minus RBY which is 1.85 so our A comes out to be 2.48 kilonewton. So this is here for 2.48 kilonewton. So this is the support reaction here at point A. Now the only unknown is RBX. So how to find out the RBX here? So it is the only horizontal support reaction at point B. Now we know that there is only one vertical horizontal load acting on this beam 5 cos 60 and this support cannot this cannot take this load so the only support reaction that will take this load is RBX so RBX if we say summation of horizontal force is equal to zero so if this force is taken as positive and in this in this direction it is taken as negative summation of all the forces equal to zero so 5 cos of 60 in this direction it is moving in this direction so it is positive minus and this force is moving in this direction so it is negative minus rbx equal to zero so if you shift this value to the right side it will become positive and rbx comes out to be 5 cos of 60 degree which comes out to be 2.5 kilonewton 2.5 kilonewton so here is the support reaction in horizontal direction which is 2.5 kilonewton and this is the way how to find out the support reaction of a beam with an inclined load and hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.